You're listening to Israel's number one podcast. Podcast to the You're a crap monster. <laughs> Are you recording, Caleb? Ooh. Boo! Ooh. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Welcome to the podcast Welcome. about list Halloween, Halloween special. Yeah. It's today. It's instead of podcast about list. It's ghost cast about um, mist, mist, the mist of oh. the ghost. Oh no! Uh-huh. <laughs> podcast about myths. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't if you're gonna scream like that, you have to do it far away from the microphone. Okay. Pod <laughs> podcast about crypt. Not because I care about it, but because it will ruin the audio. No, just move your head away. You don't have to move the whole arm. It's gonna make a j- weird noise on the okay well, audio. Then- well then, it's all right now. The pod, okay, now stream. podcast about sp- a split a body in half. <laughs> Pretty scary fog, stuff. Fog cast uh, about about uh, a creature in the fog. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa, that was good. Yeah, this is our you very own. A, this is like our queen. our treehouse of horror. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we're doing because this is coming out on Halloween. Tantacion's ghost is in the <laughs> treehouse. <laughs> All right, now I feel sick every time I scream. Are you kidding me? You're that. Yeah, you need to go to the doctor. Are you that fragile? Yeah. No, I had a, a I had, scream throws you out of homeostasis. Oh no, I had, I've been screaming all morning. So that was this actually was the almost scream. I did. This was almost a chicken brain episode. I found a chicken spot in town. No. Uh huh. Don't do it. I had to lay down for a little bit. I had to get the chicken out of my system. You know better than that. I know. I forgot. I forgot what chicken does to us before we record. I don't think it's the meat. I think it's the skin. It's the skin. It's the skin. skin, The skin on that chicken was was good. I think it might be the curse. Yeah. I think it might be the curse that the witch put on us to be stupid whenever we eat chicken. I forgot about the curse. Duh! You guys are so stupid. Everything has to be. This scary. is also it's this is episode, episode one one one. Okay, mm-hmm. and there's six the of us. There's number. six of us that do the podcast six mm-hmm. times because we all have split personalities, like Doctor Jekyll mm-hmm. and Mister Hyde. Yeah, six mm-hmm. times one one one. Yours is Mrs. Hyde. No, that's your that's your no. split personality. Yeah, at night you turn into Mrs. Hyde. No, mine is Mister Fly, <laughs> and I'm very cool. <laughs> no, yeah, you can't fly. Six times one one one. You guessed it. Friday the 13th. The scariest That's number right. of all time. No. <laughs> no. We're well, going to start off this episode with some very scary stories. Yeah, we're going to tell from... scary stories <laughs> around the campfire. <laughs> yeah, we have a campfire here. Uh-huh. I'm I'm smoking a cigar. Yeah. We're going to tell a scary story. I just yeah. put I just put a whole why I would dropped you, a why sausage is it, into the campfire. Why do you t- pick it up? I'm no. roasting. I'm, I'm roasting a Ritz cracker on a skewer like it's a marshmallow. I'm roasting a human leg. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Patrick, if you want, I just want to just like a quick sidebar. Um, there's a very easy fix to make people stop saying they want to hit you with the bus, and it's to not scream directly into the mic every thirty seconds on this episode. Wait, hold on. And... Hold on, Patrick needs to fillet the mic really quick. What did, did you, you mute himself? What did you mute yeah. yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much that you want to bet? I bet that screwed up your audio and audacity. No, it did not. All right. My audio is fine. I just clicked the button. Anyway, we're at the campfire. Yeah. We're going to tell some stories. Cameron, how about you go first? Oh, I have to go first. Or, or okay, someone, I'll go first. Or someone else. I'll go first. All right, no, wait. Patrick just left. So I guess... um. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, just stand up and walk away yeah, in the first away from fucking the campfire. five minutes yeah, sure. of the episode. Yeah, the campfire's here. I'm Dude, sorry, the campfire's going to go out. Caleb was doing a voice that was too scary, and I got too scared. <laughs> you didn't get I that scared. I had to scared. leave the room. You did not get that scared. I got All so right. scared just now. Are you guys ready for my scary story? I'm st- I'm going to leave again. No. This is, this is going to scare the pants right off you. Okay? Oh. This story is called The Terrifying Story of the crazy can you take it back murderer ah! no take it back <laughs> i'm dude. serious all right are you guys ready i uh, no, of course not why not ah! wait maybe i'll do that maybe i'll do a light scream that's smart is this working i'm <laughs> it was a dark and evil night no. not a creature was stirring 
except for some ghosts. But that's a story for another time. <laughs> Little 12-year-old Patrick lived alone with his mom and dad and brothers and sisters, and his aunt lived next door, and he had two hairless cats. But his brothers and sisters were away Who's on vacation, and his aunt was in timeout. And tonight, on Friday the 13th, his parents were going on a date. They hired a babysitter, and they were talking to the babysitter about the rules of the house. <laughs> that <laughs> fell out of his chair. Just fell off <laughs> Are you okay, Patrick? One second. <laughs> Say something. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> you have to stop scaring me so much. Okay. <laughs> Tone it down, Cam. Fuck, dude. They were talking to the babysitter about the rules of the house. One. Patrick can't play with toys. <laughs> Two. Pat- <laughs> 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 oh, he really hurt himself. He bro- just broke something in his house. <laughs> Rule you number two. To, I'm telling you right now, stop scaring me. This Rule much. number two. <laughs> Patrick can't eat snacks. I'm not going to do Rule it again. Rule number three. <laughs> you can't even see it. You Patrick, can't even see it. I don't know why I'm still doing it. Patrick can only watch one minute of TV per night. Patrick started to cry and went to lie down in his room from sadness. Right before Patrick's mom and dad went out to their date, his dad stopped and turned to the babysitter. One more thing, he said. There's a freak on the loose in the neighborhood tonight. A freak? Asked the babysitter. Her name was Vicky the babysitter, by the way. Yes, a freak, said Patrick's dad. He's a serial killer, and he's obsessed with killing babysitters. He was in the asylum, but he escaped by getting out of his cell. Now he's walking around the neighborhood looking for babysitters. Holy crap, said Vicky the babysitter. Yes, it's terrifying, said Patrick's dad. That's why we are going to another town for our date. He's called the Crazy Murderer, and he wears a mask that looks like a clown's face. He has been taking clown hormones for years, so if you take off his mask, his face also looks like a clown's face, and he has big (laughs) clown feet. Plus, he has bat wings, and he carries a butcher's knife in one hand and a dead child's doll in the other hand. The doll (gasps) is haunted, and if you look into its eyes, you see a green light that captures your soul. The Crazy Murderer is from Egypt, so he can cast a mummy's curse on his victims. (laughs) He's also Native American, so he can shapeshift. He can time travel, so he has visited every world culture, and he has a place in their legends. He's also a werewolf, which is separate from the shapeshifting, by the way. But tonight is the full moon, Vicky said. Exactly, said Patrick's dad. That means the crazy murderer will turn into a wolf with blood-red eyes. He can smell children being babysat from 100 miles away, and he has a hook in place of one hand so that he can catch children like a fish. He drives an ice cream truck, but instead of selling ice cream, it sells blood and eyeballs. The ice cream truck plays the Lavender Town scary music, and it's driven by the ghost of a child. The crazy murderer rides in the backseat and sticks his head out the window like a dog. One time, the window got rolled up by accident, and it cut the crazy murderer's head off, so it had to get stitched back on with barbed wire. He's immortal, so it's okay for his head to get cut off he has the eyes of a spider and the claws of a dark demon so what do i do if he comes to the house asked vicky the babysitter he's already here i can see him through the window said patrick's dad then vicky turned around and said oh my god also patrick's mom's mouth was sewed shut by a voodoo doctor that's why she hasn't talked in the story (laughs) the reason vicky the babysitter said oh my god was because there was nothing at the window patrick's dad was just tricking her She didn't realize that the people talking to her were never even Patrick's parents after all. The dad was the crazy murderer all along, and the mom was Bloody Mary. They were pretending to be Patrick's parents to get into the house and kill the babysitter. They killed the babysitter and drove away in the ice cream truck. The ghost child who drove the truck wicked at the camera. Patrick stopped crying and came downstairs because he sensed there was no more babysitter. He was so excited he got his favorite Lego toy set and ate a corn dog and sat in front of the TV. He turned it on and Squidward's suicide was on the TV and he watched it for 10 minutes and went crazy. He had to go to the asylum and turned into the crazy murderer. Then, once he grew up, he time traveled back to his house to kill Vicky the babysitter to get rid of all the rules from his house. What happened to Patrick's real mom and dad, you may ask? Well, remember the ghosts from the beginning of the story? Oh, my God. Yep. That was his parents. <clears throat> Boo! <laughs> That's the story oh. of the, the terrifying story of the crazy oh murderer. Oh, my God. I'm shaking. I, even reading that was difficult I for me. I fell out of my chair twice. <laughs> Pat, what was that like for you? 
I don't know. I fell out of my chair. No, I mean, no, as a kid, in the in the for that to happen to you. Oh, it's terrifying. It was. I bet it was, dude. I bet Mm -hmm. it was. I mean, that's more terrifying than I could imagine. Yeah, if that happened to me, I would scream. I yeah. fell out of the chair so hard I scared the cats out of ever coming to this room again. <laughs> You're kind of the horror movie. Every life, every day of those cats' lives, and it was a horror movie. You're just a monster who walks around and yeah. grabs them, <laughs> and shows their yeah. balls in their friend's face, <laughs> stomping <laughs> around the house, them. going, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." It's true. It's true. Yeah. All right. Who's ready for another scary story? I don't think I'm, I'm ready. Freaking out! I feel like but we need a happy one. story. Here, I'll tell a happy story. We need to break <laughs> yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. A palate I'll tell you, um, there is a very, there's a great, there's a great movie. Um, <laughs> it's called Air Force One. Uh, it has uh, Han Solo in it, and he's president. <laughs> and there's terrorists, and they get on the plane as he's on, and they, he has to fight them, and he actually he's kill he kills every one of them. And he survives. That's pretty good. That's pretty That's happy. You guys feeling a little better? Yeah. I feel a lot better. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's do another scary story. Pat, you want to say your scary story? I, I'll, tell, I'll tell my scary story. Okay. Let me... Oh. On the scariest <laughs> night of the year, Friday the 13th. Okay. Friday the 13th. <laughs> I came home to see my home in di- complete disarray. I walked into the front door and all of my Funkos were out of their boxes. <laughs> I looked over to my wife's room and she wasn't in there with her awesome boyfriend. I grew to be terrified of this so much that I dropped my bag of Woot Stouts on the ground, causing them all to explode. The foamy, hoppy goodness leaked all over my Mass Effect Asari body pillow that my wife and her extraordinary boyfriend take turns watching me <laughs> fuck every Friday night. The pillow absorbed most of the moisture, so I picked it up and started sucking the delicious Woot Stout that I earned after a long week's work at the Think Geek factory. I sucked it right out of the pillow's pussy hole. I was scared as hell, but I couldn't let that beautiful golden IPA go to waste. Anyway, I digress. The point of this story is that I was scared as hell, but I could I was seriously terrified. I couldn't believe it. It had happened. I couldn't believe my own eyes. My 30 to 50 feral hogs had finally unionized. (laughs) I ran to the door but tripped over my RC BB-8 that I also fuck, and I fell face first onto the floor and chipped all my teeth. Just then, an unfamiliar foot stomped right in my face. I looked up in sheer terror. My 30 to 50 feral hogs brought Carol freaking Baskins into my home. No. no. To be continued. That's the scariest <laughs> ending of all time. I think what's so scary about that ah! is the is the the cliffhanger at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anything it, could happen. It also means that we ha- we have to go through it. We sit through another scary story. At some point. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. That's this prospect yeah, we're not of safe another yet. scary story. Yeah. We're not safe. There's no end yet. No end in sight. Yeah. All right. Can someone tell it? Someone else tell a happy story. Yeah, I got one for you. Okay. Basically, there's these little fellows that work for a guy named Gru, and they have mis- They do mischief and come up with different inventions. The Ming okay. no, The Ming no, twins. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, that was a, I just came up with that. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yeah, I just made it up. We're going to make you a millionaire. Yeah, I'm, gonna think, I'm thinking of making a movie about them called The, the, the Fellows. <laughs> <laughs> the Yellow Fellows. <laughs> <laughs> Called, okay. called I Am Despicable. <clears throat> you ready for my scary story? No. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> this is called Scary Story by Caleb Pitts. <laughs> there was a carpenter. Let me try that again. There was a carpenter who traveled around the land, growing his hair out really long, tanning and fucking perfect tens in every town he went to. He would have women wash his feet, and they would gobble on his balls, and then he'd, and then he'd uh, probably go surfing after that. He would do a thousand pull-ups a day, and he was ripped. He had a squad of other jacked assholes. Yeah, I'm an asshole, so what? 
and they would tag team girls and they would eat huge feasts and he had and they all had long ass hair and they liked to fish together. Life was good. Then one day, one of his friends started tattletailing on him like a puss. He told the nerds of the town about his friend and about how much hole he was getting and about how much food he was eating. At the time, you couldn't eat a lot of food at once. It was illegal. <laughs> the nerds controlled all of the banks in the town, and so they had to, the power to stop him. The nerds grabbed a man, and they punched him, and then they put him onto a cross, and they crucified him till he was dead. Now, you may be thinking, that's just some story. That could never actually happen. But it did. Oh yeah, it happened God. to a man named Jesus Christ. <gasps> and he actually died. He died for your sin. <gasps> and the end of the story. The end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. I came so up with this. I have think a... about, you know, loving your neighbor more. <laughs> I have an idea for a sequel. Hmm. He could turn into a zombie, and they could make a day a day to celebrate him turning into a zombie. They oh my god! Day. That would be even more terrifying. Oh yeah. my god! That would be so scary. I that a zombie of I'm, him. I'm having a picnic a attack. A zombie just of the coolest guy that. ever did a picnic attack. <laughs> I'm having a picnic attack right now, and just absolutely. I'm getting Pikmin attacks just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so those are our scary stories. Yeah. yeah, some of them scared me too much. I'm some of them it. could really happen. Some okay. of them did happen. No, but the listeners can't hear, can't see this. But raise your hand if you put a little pee in your pants while we were listening to these. Wow, that's about what I thought. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say who raised their hand, but let's just say it was anonymous. Yep. Yeah. Or tsunamis. <laughs> tsunamis. Anonymous' so about wife that. is named tsunamis. <laughs> So, so, you know, I think you guys yeah. get the idea. What are, you guys doing? what are you guys dressing up as for Halloween today? Myself. Uh, I'm, I'm one of those go awesome as, guys. Yeah, I'm going as 45. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going about... Scary, I'm going as I'm going as, uh, as somebody who's been red-pilled because the scariest thing to most people is someone who knows the truth. And it wasn't mm, afraid oh my to, god! To yeah, I'm it. going as a truth teller. I'm going as Eric Weinstein. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I'm gonna walk in there, and I'm just gonna be like, "Yeah, math proves that gay people are wrong," and people I'm are going, gonna be pretty scared. I'm going as Julian Assange Neo combination. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, one of the scariest things to the modern. He is masses kind of, of the society. real life Neo. That's true. Yeah. Let's 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 punch this out. Let's beat this out. Julian mm -hmm. Assange is Neo. Yeah. Uh -huh. The United States government is a robot. Yep. Yeah. Ju yeah. Uh, Angelina Jolie is uh, more salt. Uh, the girl. She's yeah. salt Sexy from the movie girl. Salt. She's salt, and yeah, she's Hannah, and uh -huh. it's, and it's both of them versus America. And Obama is Morpheus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Obama is Morpheus. Obama's Morpheus. Evil yeah. Morpheus. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he's uh -huh. dark Morpheus. He's evil, he's he's evil dark Morpheus. Morpheus. Yeah. Yeah. Good Morpheus is Kanye it's still, West. It's Lawrence Fishburne, still. I don't no, want to get Kanye wanna, West and Lawrence no Fishburne. No one else could play they, No one else could play the Morpheus. Role. They, they play, no they one else could play Morpheus. Yeah. No, Cameron, you're wrong about they that. They switch no one else off every Morpheus. scene. They switch off. making any sense, Cam. It's making me sad, but you're not making any sense right now, buddy. Yep. You You're talking, talking like about? a crazy person. Yeah, that's, that's what most people say about truth me. tellers. Okay? And that's terrifying me right now. You're scaring me on Halloween. Can you just invite or can you just invite us into your world right now? <laughs> can you can you bring tried, us into your terrifying to, you world? Can you, just, terrifying can you just start the list and 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 show us a glimpse of the you, dark mind behind other podcasts such as this one? What? Your terrifying mind palace. We just want to see into your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so That's basically, so imagine a gothic castle uh -huh. filled with 100 vampires of Dracula. I exit Draculas. the mind. I click exit of the mind. I, it's too scary for me. I knew it. I knew Leave you guys mind. couldn't handle Pause it. This mind. This mind is getting me so scared, it's giving me indigestion. This and mind I'm is it's mind freaking me. You're mind freaking me, and I need you to mm -hmm. calm. I need you to calm uh. down. Oh my god. You're like an evil doctor, which is the scariest thing. I'm I like can a mad exactly. scientist. You're kind of like Dr. Terrible sing-along blog. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's your yeah. kind of terror. Yeah, I'm kind of like right. Dr. Anthony Fauci, who seems to be scaring all of these Republicans now. Out, out, mm-hmm. Yeah, scaring all of the geniuses out of drinking hydrochloroxyclone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you, yeah. Th- yeah, maybe they don't want us taking it because it's too hard to pronounce. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, they need the to doctors, come up with doctors. Doctors don't want to have to write that whole thing down on a prescription. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just hydro, wait. We'll wait for the shorter cure. Hydro yeah. is a, well, eh, just fuck. Just it doesn't exist. This yeah. stuff don't is illegal. It. Yeah, take, it's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't have this. Actually, yeah, this will kill you. Yeah. Yeah, this actually kills you instantly if, if you take it. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. You, we're just gonna give you Advil. Yeah, <laughs> doctors. Doctors are trying to get rid to stop people from drinking bleach because they're worried there's not going to be enough left to use on their lab coats. Mm-hmm. That's true. Keep it crispy <laughs> white. Yeah, yeah. There'd be a shortage. Use your brain, dude. Escape from the prison they construct from you. Escape. From escape from where they want you to wear. Escape to wear. from which mountain? Escape from which mountain? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Mm-hmm. Get oh scared of God. it. Um. So today. In keeping with uh, the Halloween theme and the theme of fear, yeah, we are doing the top ten scariest things ever on the top tens. Yeah, oh and the, so and I thought that we had done this list before, but I looked back into our archive and um, he unlocked the vault and oh, back into the dark thirty one. Which interestingly, today South. Halloween is also in its own way kind of a dark thirty one. Um, oh my we, god! We, we did the list top ten scariest things ever to see. So it's completely okay. different from this list. So it's a different, completely different. It's true. So we're fine. This is new content. Number one scariest thing ever is being buried <laughs> alive. <gasps> Not that scary. Yeah, it's scary. Are you kidding me? If you think about it, okay. Well, they're not being specific. Okay, imagine this: you are hanging out in your house. Okay, you're playing video games. You're watching TV. Right? You think, oh, I need to take the dog out. You open up your front door, and it's just a block of dirt. <gasps> and you realize that your entire house has been buried underground. Yeah. It's Holy not that crap. scary. Well, no, okay. That's scary. Just, your life's not any All different. All right, here, here's a better... shit in your bed, but that's fine. Here's a better scenario. You wake up, you find out that you're buried under one million coins. <laughs> that's one of one the million best things gold ever. coins. Like, screw... And you're under Scrooge McDuck's... Money pit. Maduk. Scrooge Maduck. <laughs> Scrooge Maduck. Maduck. <laughs> okay. Um, so a you're comment. buried under his pit. Yeah. Yeah. How do you, but I'm, but so how do you get out of that? You have to spend all the money. <laughs> you do. <laughs> no. uh-huh. Dude. You, you tell you, you put do. you put Amazon orders in, you get them C O D and then they uh-huh. have to so once you get out yeah. of the gold coin pit. You got a bunch of packages. Holy crap. Right. And you get to do unboxing videos. Uh-huh. And, and, you, and yeah, to then add, to add you grow money your on wealth. That. Exactly. Get you grow your wealth. You were, and then with. you realize that you got knocked out from all the coin amnesia. And now you, and that's <laughs> what actually put you under the coins in the first place. And uh-huh. then you're because you're making so much loop. AdSense money. And then you keep doing it because you keep forgetting. Holy right? crap. And then you have to write. And then you write. You're not very smart, though. So you try to do a memento thing where you remind yourself with tattoos on your body, but you just write coins on your arm. <laughs> yeah, and then you look around and you go, yep. Yep, that's about yep, right. There are coins. coins. <laughs> that's a really good point, Arm. <laughs> Here's a comment on this one that says, what about your house burning on fire? I'm not saying this is the scariest thing, but it is the scariest thing that ever happened to me. It happened to me in February of 2018. A house two doors down from me was on fire. I live in a townhouse, so all the houses are connected. And it spread to the house right next door. And then my roof was smoking. But my house didn't go on fire, but I was very scared because I thought my house might burn down. I hadn't got my diary or my books or my clothes. Whoa. Yeah, if my stuff got burnt, I'd be so scared. Yeah, if my roof started smoking, uh huh. you know I'm grabbing my diary first. I'm my, grabbing my diary. I'm grabbing my Palm Pilot. I'm grabbing, grabbing my diarrhea. Nokia N-Gage. You're I'm grabbing your diarrhea with a bucket out of the toilet, and then you're no. leaving. That's all you take. Come you're on. You're leaving your girlfriend and your cats inside, and you're taking no, your diarrhea. Yeah, you're taking it all the way home. I'm not taking any diarrhea home with me. Yeah, you Wait, are. Wait, listen, com- listen to this comment about being buried alive. Just imagine being in a dark, cold space waiting to die, and you keep screaming, but no one can hear you, and as the hours pass, you feel worthless. It would be like putting a granny in a room, take her off her medication, knowing she will die in a few hours, and then shut the door and walk out with the granny knowing what will happen. (laughs) (laughs) I've done that to a granny. You've done a lot of stuff to a granny. Yeah. Yeah. A granny smith. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I smoked weed out of a Granny Smith before. Yeah, I smoked what? weed out of your granny. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah My did. Nana would never let you do that. Mm-hmm. She's she not did. built for it. My my, my Nana she smoked weed once in it. the 70s, and she said that she vomited for three days. <laughs> and then she said that was the only time she ever smoked weed. She's, like, actually allergic to weed. And I don't believe her. You. She probably smoked. She probably smoked K two back then. Probably. Which I don't know. They I think, had in I the think 70s. being buried alive. I don't know. I, I think I feel like I'd kill Bill that shit. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Or just ring the bell. Ring the bell. You just ring the bell. Yeah, the Victorian uh, graveyard yeah. bell. It's not that hard. Yeah, pretty easy. They have a bell at the graveyard. They have a bell at the graveyard. You can ring it when the when dinner's done. <laughs> it's pretty big. That's what. You, that's why they had that bell. Is yeah. Because they're. T- you, that's how you got somebody to come dig you up. Is you would ring the bell and they would think, oh, there's dinner down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I guess I'll. I guess I'll dig them up and see if there's dinner in there. With Damn. Him. They buried a hibachi chef under there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he still yeah. had an egg in his hat when we put him down there. <laughs> We need to dig him back oh. up. <laughs> oh, I should have known that that there's a tower of onion rings that were on fire. <laughs> this heroic hibachi chef was saved during this mass shooting when the bullet was stopped by the shrimp in his chest pocket. <laughs> uh, I would never be buried alive, though. This is all think- true. My friend secretly ate a deep sleep medicine, and she went to sleep for 24 hours. Then when her family came and thought she was dead and buried her, she, when she woke, she was buried alive. <laughs> and then what happened? That's the end of the story. That she, she farted, and they all died. <laughs> Someone says, I don't agree on this. It's actually quite fun, really. Whoa. 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 Twisted Fucking crazy. psycho. Oh my Whoa. god. Someone says nothing like a psychopath burying you alive, but psychopath is spelled C Y C O path. <laughs> Psychopath. This is what happened to my great grandpa. Died by this on D Day. <laughs> <laughs> buried alive on D Day. I don't believe that. I believe it, dude. Imagine waking day. up in a coffin and you struggle to breathe. I get claustrophobic, so please, it's no laughing matter. I think I think being buried alive is definitely one of my worst fears. Really? Oh, now someone's going to do it to me. <laughs> God damn it. Probably a fan. A fan is going to bury you alive. Yeah. Gonna find yeah. you bury you alive <laughs> There's a comment dude. on here that says, apparently they used to bury people alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is an open um, invitation warning. for anyone open warning. Can come bury no, Pat open alive warning. At any time, me if and If you Cam bury me alive. Yeah. We'll I pay you. you better I own a big piece of property, big be guy. Because pissed, that's I will gonna be, pissed. be. I'm imagining just like a just a circular coffin. <laughs> <laughs> they just fit you in like a gear. Hmm. Someone comments, "This is really scary," but Five Nights at Freddy's should be number one. <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. Yeah, spitting straight facts. When you're unable to move, that's terrible. Not that scary. I would, I would, I would say bar- being, being buried alive, alive is not my number in one In Russia, fear. a girl named Sasha was 16 year old, and she slept a really long time, so her mom and dad thought she was dead. They buried her, and then Sasha woke up and said, where am I? Where am I? Wait, I'm buried. Help, help, help. Please, wait. I can't breathe. Ugh. And 16 minutes later, she was dead. She was beautiful. Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> they buried Ariana Grande alive. Number two. Fear. Whoa. Fear itself, dude. Whoa. Ah! Remember that line? Yeah. I remember who said it, too. Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> you have nothing to fear but my See, he was, dra- he my was dra- trying to fear trick but me. Them. He <laughs> yeah, was trying yeah. to trick them. He was trying to be like, listen, don't worry about Dracula. You should be afraid of fear. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, uh, duh, okay. Well, he's got a point. By the time they realized what was happening... He, they mm-hmm. had two little pencils in their neck. <laughs> Top comment. Whatever fear is scary and is what makes us afraid. It is the seedling of panic and sets terror into the body. It is the father of phobias and the mother of horror. It is fear. Father of phobia. Anna. That's from Anna? Yeah, that's what it says. Wow. Annabelle the doll? <gasps> no. <laughs> no. 
That would be so scary. I, if well, someone Ball was a top I fear being commentary. sick or hurt and no access to health care. Wow, welcome Whoa. to America. Yeah. That's a really long comment, too. Someone says, I bet Ted Cruz won't bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> he got his ass set for Our life. nation's what about you biggest baggers? problem is fear. <laughs> Poor, white, stupid. I bet you on free health care. Poor white stuff. This is the biggest on. one. Bigger than started on the ocean because it's fear. You're scared of being buried alive, fear. Ghosts and Slender Man, fear. Sometimes you're not going to like admitting it, admitting it, but that's sort of fear mixed with embarrassment. Oh, wait, we figured out who said the quote. Somebody, somebody got it in the comments. The only fear is fear itself, Marilyn Manson. <laughs> <laughs> there we that go, is we got who it. said it, yeah. We, we nailed it. The only thing to fear is fear itself. I think this is so true, because if there was no fear, there would be nothing to fear. Holy cow, we blew that one right. Really, fear open. is the scariest, because all the stuff on the list is fear. Fear is the devil's happiness, so yeah. Fear kind of makes me uh, happy. You're a psycho. I'm yeah. kind of uh, You're a, a freak uh, with that. You should You're be a, a 21 Pilots. Mm-hmm. You're a Halloween You're crazy. I'm sucker for pain! <laughs> Oh, maybe you are in 21. That is kind of a 21 Pilots hat. It's funny that we make fun of this hat every week and you just keep wearing it. It's yeah. not a bad hat. Just wear a different hat when we just, record. Yeah, just change hats it's or something. It's a good hat. It's a good hat. It's not comfortable to wear a hat uh, under headphones, too. I, I do it all the time. It, it makes your head really sore. I don't know why yeah, you tell choose that to, to Caleb. do it every time. Well, you, I mean, Caleb only does it sometimes. That's right. You do it every single time. You do it all day, every yeah. day, man. I'm I just getting, watched I'm a scary what's movie under that hat. and I'm having goosebumps. That's a comment right there. I'm having goosebumps. Number right three, now. being Looking stranded in the in the open ocean. Whoa. I just swim away. Can you not swim? Yeah, just swim to the land. Do you have I no just swim here, home. here's what's scary? Being stranded in the flo- in the ocean and you're just ahead. <gasps> and you realize that your body has been taken by Somali pirates, and you're just a floating oh head in the ocean. Oh, my God. That might be pretty scary. But just being straight, I mean, again, I'm a I'm an excellent swimmer. I placed third place in, like, two or three swim competitions growing yeah, up. Yeah, I was number one in the world when I was, like, one year old, so. No, you weren't. Yeah, I no. was. No. No. Yeah. I swam around no. the world in 80 minutes. That's I, I a Jackie Chan movie. You. That's not a real thing. No, yeah. I, well, they based the movie off of me. They did not. They did. They didn't, no. They said, we just heard he, a one-year-old guy, an awesome one-year-old guy, swim around the world in 80 minutes. We're going to make a movie where Jackie Chan swims around the world in 80 minutes. And then my family was going to sue him, so they had to change it to going in a hot air balloon instead. And 80 days. No, they didn't mm-hmm. change that. That's a that's a little known misconception. <clears throat> that's a Everyone mistype. Is... That's a misprint on the DVD. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, if they you based, think about it, the movie's the like movie's 80 it's, minutes. Exactly. Roughly. They boost. They base. They boost. They boost. <laughs> they boost. <laughs> boost. They based <laughs> Owen Wilson off boo-y. Cameron. They did. Cameron's look. You're thinking of Shanghai Noon. No. Owen Wilson yeah. is in Around the World in 80 Days. Is he? Yeah. I don't think so. And lo- yeah, no. No, man, you're thinking of um, Bottle Rocket by Wes you're Anderson. You're thinking of Midnight in Paris. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Jackie Chan and Steve Coogan, huh? No, what? Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson is it in it, but he's Wilbur Wright. Oh. So he's so not Wes- Owen Wilson. He's Come Wilbur on. Wright. You just said yeah, he's, he's not. He's not in Owen Shanghai Wilson. Noon, he's. He's. Uh, is I, he heard a, I heard Noon? a rumor. I heard a rumor. That uh, that movie that that someone got uh, Owen Wilson hooked on heroin on the set of that movie, Around the World in Eighty Days. Yeah, I guess when you're a celebrity, like you might as well just get addicted to heroin. You know, right? You got to do it. Like I get it. Allegedly, I just want to say allegedly, so that Owen Wilson, a big a friend of the show, does not, not friend of the sue show. us. He's a friend of the show. He's a friend of me. He's not a friend of the show. He's a friend of the show. He's a friend no. of the show with you. He's not. He's, He's a friend of the show. With you. He's a friend of the show. He's a friend of the show. Uh, for someone like me, he will throw up on any boat due to seasickness. I couldn't agree more. I'll just stick to the kiddie pool and the bath toys. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I'll <laughs> swim in my bathtub. Instead. It's also they said kiddie pool, K I T T Y. <laughs> like the kitty? cat pool. Yeah, like kitty. A cat? Yeah, kitty cat pool. Okay. I would probably make friends with the sharks and just have them. Uh, 
take me home. If I would swim to the bottom of the ocean and that, I would find a portal that goes into my house. I would tell the sharks. I'm kind of like the sh- the shark of like humans. So we kind of, you know, we might relate a little bit and they would yeah. understand me and they would take me home. <laughs> Here's a comment. Guys, if this happens to you, watch The Shallows first. It's a story of a woman gets stranded in a middle <laughs> island. <laughs> oh Guys, fuck I'm stuck in the middle of the ocean Does somebody have an iPod video with the shallow on it? The shallow she's <laughs> like She's not even stuck on an island That's the one with um Fucking Wait let me Is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah with Blake Lively She's not stuck on an island She's stuck on She's like stuck is Stuck like 50 feet from shore On like a, a buoy Like this isn't even Doesn't even apply Just lean Just lean towards the The ocean Or the land Well there's a shark Just step on him Jump on his head Mario style. On the shark? And then you get to bring a coin home. <laughs> what what kind of shark would you ride? What would be whale shark? I would shark? ride the shark from whale 47 shark? meters down uncaged. I would the probably do shark. a hammerhead shark just so I could grab onto the side. I would like do the like megalodon, oh, actually. No, I'm like changing a, my like answer. A, like a West Coast chopper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah and hang on to it like a West Coast chopper, yeah. Get your motor running. Uh-huh. Shark out on the highway. Highway. <laughs> <laughs> Eating all the small fish and whatever Never comes our way. way. Born to ride a shark. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. My uh, they my should grandpa, make wild hogs, but with sharks. My grandpa used to have like a little like a plushie of Santa Claus, and when you and he was on a motorcycle, and he had like a Harley Davidson jacket, and when you pressed his, uh, if you pressed Venus. his hand, it would play that song, and he would like shake. If you pressed so his I used penis. to hide it under the couch cushion. So when he would sit down when he got home from work, he'd sit down and he would you'd just be like, get your motor run. And he'd go, God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the last comment on being stranded in the open ocean is, I would die with the smiley emoji. <laughs> okay, freak. I'm scared of that guy. Yeah. Let's get this He's guy off okay this website. With Get him out my of whole, there. I don't know. I think my video driver just crashed. Your video driver? What are you video yeah. driving? I don't know. Are you playing just Valorant crashed. right now? Both of, my, both of my screens just shut off, so. Turn them on. Yeah, He's they're... playing Skater XL. I'm not playing Skater XL. I, uh, All right. thanks, for the, thanks for the dramatic gong hit. Yeah. When you, when you did that, that was the mic stand. <laughs> All right, anyway. you uh, The monitor's turned off because you suffered a ghost curse on Halloween. Yeah, dude. You're no, but suffering. I did. I wasn't playing Skater XL, but I did look up Owen Wilson's heroin stuff, and uh, it turns out Steve Coogan might might have be the one who got he him might be the on suspect. heroin. He might be. He, it says in this New York Post article that uh, Steve Coogan, with whom he starred in several films, with according blah blah blah. I went through it with Steve. That gets the heat off so, of Jackie. Wow. Yeah. I would have thought Jackie it was Chan, Chan did not Now get, that's yeah. scary. Jackie Chan did not get Owen Wilson hooked on heroin. It was allegedly Steve Coogan. That one, if Jackie Chan was addicted to heroin and he's just like trying to do all the kung fu. <laughs> and his arms are just like going just completely limp <laughs> as he's trying to punch these guys. And they're all like flipping over as soon as he touches them. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Look like Jar Jar Binks fighting. Number, Number four, four is, is hell. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> Here's a comment. I don't. Be- this is the second week in a row we've talked about hell. I think. Um, this is a comment though. Um, I don't believe in hell. If there is an afterlife in anything, there won't be any punishment, and people suffer more than on Earth. More likely to be a reincarnation are ghosts. This sounds really stupid, but if ghosts exist, maybe the reason why no one has seen them is because it's the souls of humans and it's the ghosts of people in government that passed away. They threw Adolf Hitler into a cave and have some laws you cannot haunt someone's house. Did you guys ever think the afterlife might be like that? (laughs) Do you think they have laws? Do you guys think that it might be the souls of humans and the ghosts of people in government? They threw Adolf Hitler into a cave and have laws that you can't haunt someone's house? In hell, in hell, they would have a million laws. That's true. True. Holy crap. What would hell A million laws a million laws and no TV. Oh my god. No TV for a week. No TV TV because of how many laws regulated it. That's Mm -hmm. right. Uh That's right. And they would have and you wouldn't be able to cross the street. And you can't watch Superstore. You can't store. ever cross the street to go nope. to the store. You can't watch Superstore at all. <laughs> you can't watch Superstore, even uh-uh. even the old episodes. 
No. Yeah. No. And and you, they say they say you you say do you guys have Mr. Show? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, we have Mr. Show. It's like one of the few shows we have. And then you turn it on, and it's with Bob and David. Yep. Turns out it's actually oh Sister Show, and it's the all female reboot. No. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah and it's Elijah Schlesinger. Only in hell. That's <laughs> you start seeing advertisements. <laughs> <laughs> Only on Hell TV. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go to Hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get you, dude. That's how they trick you. They have a bunch I would, of exclusive TV shows. Down there. I would do. Yeah. I would do Fixer Upper to Hell. Yeah, I would put in like some nice wood floors. I would uh-huh. put in. Uh, uh, is that no? I'm thinking of. I'm thinking. Is that Chip and Joanna? Chip and Joanne. Yeah, I would go Chip and Joanne on Hell. Joanna. It's not Joanna. Get Joanna's. her name. Joanne. Get her name right. It's Chip and Joanna. You don't even know what the it's show Chip is called. Yes, it is. It's Chip and Chip Dale. Yes, it is. It's Chip and Dale, and they're two chipmunks. And Chip I'm and taking Joanna Gaines. No, wrong. That's their name. That's Here's her formal a... name. When you know her and her husband, <laughs> when well, you know her, you can just call her, you call her Joe. So Chip and Joe, I'm taking them to hell. We're putting in granite countertops. We're gonna, we're gonna cover get some up. nice. We're gonna get some beautiful magnolia we're coffee putting in, cups in there. We're putting an in ground fire pool. Oh hell yeah! Because yeah. they have a pool, they have an above ground one. And it's kind of tacky. Yeah, you know? uh-huh. yeah. The thing is, you uh-huh. get a lot of bang for your buck in hell. Yep, it's made out of stones, brimstones. It's- Whoa, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Here's a sub list in the comments. What's going okay. to happen if Satan rules the world? One, the opposite of heaven is hell. I would hate that. Metal Two, on the radio. No peace and quiet, just noise and screams. Three. Sounds like my house already. Endless yeah. torture. Four. Satan will make you hungry and lets you feed human organs. Five. And I'm going <laughs> to... This one is, has a period after every word, so I'm going to clap between every word on this one. Okay. No more anything you like in your life ever. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Are you serious? I, I would seriously fucking hate that. Yeah. He, Satan's going to make the opposite of that heaven would disgust into hell. Me. That would disgust me. Yeah, that would straight up scare the hell out of me. Uh huh. I would be disgusted by that. Satan is a Republican. Mm. Satan, I'm a house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a house devil. Yeah. I'm a house demon, Senator. <laughs> it's a bad word. Who would be afraid of that? I would not be, but still, some people might be if they get a spanking from their mother after they say it. Hell time oh with Bill my Hell. God. With Hell Mar. <laughs> Hell Mar. Hell <laughs> Mar. <laughs> yeah, down here it's all Republicans. Yeah. yeah. So, and yeah, me. my show pisses off a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, down in the. God, they gotta get the, Bill Maher on a Halloween episode dressed up like Bill the Maher devil. They gotta get Bill in hell. Down we in, need to get. We need to take Bill Maher to hell as soon I hope as they possible. Sir, I hope they show Bill Maher in hell. Yeah. <laughs> And I he's, hope they serve beer, too. <laughs> he's going to be down there in the chaos of pandemonium, the city of hell, where there's riots going on constantly. And he's going to get down there, and he's going to look in the camera and say, no rules. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. No rules. It's hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Satan rules. <laughs> <laughs> I love hell. That's what he's gonna say instead of yeah. new rule. I love hell. <laughs> I, uh, I'm in hell. That's new rule. <laughs> Internal damnation forever. <laughs> My first guest tonight, Mac Miller. Everybody, Mac Miller, come on, God, come on, <laughs> yo. I don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> yeah, what's up? It's me, Mac Miller. You if you stop. think, you if you think, stop saying Mac Miller's in hell. If you think this there is, just, he is. This, this is exactly like Pittsburgh. I feel at home. <laughs> <laughs> if you think there is nothing scariest than hell, then you are not lucky person. Time is drawing near. Time is drawing near. Time. Is Tom drawing is near. drawing near. Tom the is end drawing is near me. <clears throat> the um, end is night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like again, much like the sh- the ocean, I would make friends. Spending an eter- spending an eternity and beyond through the uh. fire and flames, not the song, is terrifying. 
Yeah, I thought hell, we moved hell on. Is basically, Guitar Hero on Expert. Yeah. Oh, number five, Drowning. Yeah, it's kind of similar uh, to the other to number three. See yeah. again, I would make friends because it, once you get down to the bottom of the ocean, you'll meet SpongeBob. I'd meet SpongeBob and Patrick and Pearl mm-hmm. the whale and Krusty Krabs and, and Sandy Gary the, that and snail. Sandy that creature and Gary Dat Snail. Gary Dat Snail. I meet Squidward, Mister Octopus, Blue Guy. Uh huh. Squidward, that guy. Mr. the Crab. Yeah. I might, I might, real shit, I might drill a hole in Mr. Krusty Crab and I might fuck it. Plankton. Hell, I'd, I'd hang out with the Jumping Dumpman on his, his in pirate the ship. <laughs> the Flying Dumpman? The Flumping yeah. Dump, the Jumping, the f- fucking the Jumping duck. Dumpman, the, the fucking duck, Duckling. The, da- the, <laughs> the Dazzling. Fucking Dutchman. The Dazzling. The Dazzling. The, da- the Donkey. F- <laughs> the Flying Monkey. The, the fucking yar, 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 beware the flying monkey. <laughs> <laughs> beware the dazzling jump man. Man, I'd be up, I'd be hanging out. I'd be terrified of the flapping dapping if I was down there. <laughs> beware the flapping dapping. <laughs> beware yeah, the You'll come and take Dutch your doubloon. I'd be hanging out in the wavy holes locker if I was down there. I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> they, I did. I, uh, listen. <laughs> Cross my heart and hope to fucking fall into J- Jerry Hole's locker. <laughs> Why does he have a locker? Was he going to school? Stinky Dave's box. Our gravy Jones will get you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put you in his lo- meat locker. Ah, look out, it'll put you in Crazy Jones' locker. Crazy, <laughs> crazy <laughs> Joe. Come on down to Crazy Joe's locker. <laughs> We got we got frimp shrine rice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Davy Joel doesn't sound like such a bad guy. Billy Davey Joel's Joel? locker. Yeah, come on down to Billy Joel's locker. <laughs> it's your life. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. No, but I could drown easily and then come back to yeah. life. Yeah, you I just would, spit the yeah. water out, you fucking mm-hmm. idiot. Yeah, who hey, made this yep. stupid try, ass? Try list. not breathing water, dumbass. Again, if you can swim, not a problem. If you can dodge a wrench, you can swim. <laughs> <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge some water. Yeah, uh-huh. that's right. You can dodge. When drowning. I was a kid, when I was a kid, I I, I thought I invented eternal breathing. And I, because I had a Capri Sun with the straw, uh-huh. and I was like, oh my God, what if I just put air in the Capri Sun, and then I just breathe it in and out, and in and out, while I'm underwater. And oh so my I, God. So I went underwater, and I just started doing it, and then I like got out and climbed onto the dock, and I was like, ja, I was like, I'm about to pass out. <laughs> I told my brother, I was like, I think I invented... It, forever breathing and he was like if you do that anymore you'll die <laughs> it's heartbreaking dude here's a, here's here's a one crazy of my early forays into science and the scientific here, method actually here's a um, crazy here's a crazy comment i once drowned from odd guy 31 oh my god that's why he's so odd that's you can so drown and odd. not die yeah you can drown as long as i think i wonder what what is the line where they're like okay you're officially drowning now I'll come save you. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, what yeah. is the... It's is three it, dunks. It's three dunks. Yeah. Three dunks. Like... Up and down three times? Yeah. And you're drowning? Uh-huh. It's if you turn blue like water, because you can see the water yeah. through your skin. Oh, that's that's why you turn blue when you're drowning. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're... you're blo- the you're water skin goes in you. water. Mm. Here's a comment. One of the last comments on this one. Drown is God. Boat break. Drown. Get eat by fish. Sopped of water. I die. Die. Water. Now. Tomorrow. I think this guy was That's drowning when he wrote the message. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah, there's only one place that, I, some, that somebody could save me right now. I, like, scrolling past calling 911 or something <laughs> while you're drowning and going on the top tens and searching drowning. Comment on it. Number six is the unknown. Ooh. Ah! What would I mean? I mean, yeah, it's kind of is that is from Pokemon. The <laughs> unknown, pretty much everyone's unknown. Whoa, if you don't know them. So, um, so here's a comment. I just let's let's try to figure out what this comment means. 
Amanda Joy de Ritter is the scariest thing forever, the worst thing forever, and the most painful thing forever. Amanda Joy de Ritter is unknown forever and not real forever. We are saved by God from Amanda Joy de Ritter. All things forever and three pluses add bonus are complete forever. All things forever and three pluses add bonus are complete forever. All things forever and three pluses add bonus are complete forever. Now, I googled that name. And yeah. the top result is a is a free background report of someone with a different name, and the second result is from quizlady dot com, and said, and it's a quiz called "What Are You Subconsciously Afraid Of?" Whoa, who's the author? And let's see. Says, let me click on this one quiz. comment here. There's one comment here that says Amanda Joy DeRitter scares all things the highest number of times more than all things except Amanda Do- Joy DeRitter forever. Should we take this "What Are You Subconsciously Afraid Of?" quiz? Yeah, yeah, dude. Let's let's do it. Question one of ten. Which of these activities do you dread the most? Work meetings, family gatherings, weddings, meetings. giving a speech, or first date? Work yeah. meetings. Work meetings. If you could travel back in time to any time period in your life, which time period would you choose? 5 to 10, Civil 15 War. to 20, 21 to 26, 26 to 40. I wouldn't want to go back. The Civil War. 26 to 40. <laughs> Uh, do you regret anything you've done in your life? Yes, I've made a lot of mistakes. I regret some things. I try not to regret anything. No, the past made me who I am today. I yes, regret. I have a going, lot of regrets. I regret going back to the Civil War and <laughs> accidentally joining the wrong side. Would you rather be rich or in poor health or healthy but poor? <laughs> Why can't hmm. I be healthy and rich? Rich and in poor health, healthy but poor. Why can't I be healthy and rich? Why can't I be healthy and rich? Yeah, it's a good question. Are you currently in a committed relationship? Yes, and it's great. No, and I'm not happy about it. Yes, but it's shaky. No, and I'm okay with it. No, and I'm okay with it. Would you consider yourself to be more of an introvert or an extra, oh, extrovert? A little or bit a of little both. Of both. Are you taking it at the same time, Patrick? Yeah. What is your favorite genre of music? Indie slash alternative, R&B, country, folk, or pop? I like anything dance. but rap and country. <laughs> yeah, so folk and pop then. Yeah, let's choose folk. What was your greatest fear as a child? Well, I mean, that's kind of... School. <laughs> Country yeah, school. and rap music. <laughs> yeah. What do you believe is the most important thing in life? Money, family, contentment, love, or career? Contentment. Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be a religious or spiritual person? No. Yes, no, or I'm not sure. I'm not sure anymore after, after All this right, here, list. All right, here, calculating our result. Calculating. Change. Mine says wow. failure. Where's, where's <laughs> you the failed the quiz. <laughs> I failed the test. You yeah, picked the wrong answers, yeah. dude. I failed the test. I thought it was going to say something about this weird name. No. No, where, it, where you is that You thought it was going to unlock from? the secret? I don't is think we like can unlock the secret. Section? I thought it was like a Cicada 3301 thing, and we were going to get into the the secret society. Let's see. Let's oh, search well, it with dude. quotes. Yeah, no, it looks like it... I don't know. It's It's came up on another paid website that says what is the scariest thing weird dude somebody on the somebody one of the fans figure this out for us yeah find out who amanda joy de ritter is yeah and if she's single <laughs> is she single mm-hmm. hello Ghosts are totally Man, real. i read I your name seen... on a list i was wondering if you're single i read your name and it called you the scariest thing of all time <laughs> Um, uh, what's up with you? Caleb Michael Derrider. Hmm. Derrider. Got to do it. Ghosts are totally Caleb real. I've seen one once, aspiration once, and orbs energy, black, clear, green. I should be yellow. It happens to a hobby of mine, and I'm not scared one bit. If I saw one again, they are just earthbound spirits that are in limbo, lost after murder or suicide, and trying to communicate. And everyone gets scared. They're not scary. They used to be like us, but now they're on another plane. That's true Whoa. as hell. Getting a little philosophical. Yeah, yeah. We should get a little. Let's get let's get scarier. (laughs) Um, death not very scary. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not much to me. You know, number eight clowns. Now that's Ah! fucking. Yeah, I can't sleep. Clowns. Here's a comment. Here's a comment. This particular clown is the reason I hate them. I'm not afraid of them, or at least anymore. When I was a little freaked out, me more than Satan, but they do make me sweat a lot. And I think I'm somewhat traumatized by Pennywise from Bon Jovi 17. (laughs) Whoa. Wow. John Bon Jovi saw Pennywise the Clown 
the, when in he was it too, seventeen, and he got so scared that he wrote the song "Run Away" <laughs> because he wanted to <laughs> run away from the clown. He was thinking about running away from a clown. Uh-huh. That's a good point. Once a clown sang me "Happy Birthday," and just now I have realized how scary they are. If that clown oh would sing God. me "Happy Birthday," I think I'm going to be terrified for the rest of my life. I do remember a clown when I was a kid, a clown at a circus, handing me a caramel apple. (laughs) And I I, I don't know if there's anything scarier than that. Yeah. That's so scary. You know? (laughs) There's no way he was licensed to do that. Listen to this one. When I was five, I had a Black Friday. I went to a no. circus. I loved clowns, but then the clown got my hand and looked at me. He grabbed me and then done some tricks. I was so scared that he even looked at me creepily. I screamed hat day. I couldn't in sleep. He had a Black wow. Friday. Oh, my God. That is terrifying. What are the top ten scariest clowns ever? Number one, got to be Pantywise. Pantywise. Um, Pagliadaccio. Shakes, shakes the clown. <laughs> Pagliadaccio. Pagliadaccio. Uh, John Wayne the Crazy. John Wayne yeah. Crazy. Mr. Smile. Yeah. Mr. Um, Hands. The Joker. The Freaky Clown. The Freaky, the freaky clown. Joker. The Joker and the Junker. Yeah. The Who Joker like, and his the wife. The Junker is like the Joker, but he's kind of covered in tr- junk. Uh-huh. Yeah. Put bull crap all over him. He's yeah. got wrappers uh, and cans. Um, Krusty's Clown. Go-Go the Clown. Uh, oh. Bobo. Bobo, Bozo... No, no, oh, oh. Bobo, Bobo, Bobo. Bo, 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 Cheech and Chong Bo, Bo, are some Cheech pretty scary Chong. clowns. <laughs> True. When they get, when they get yeah. too high. Um, get over here. I'm going to cheat your Chong. Don't cheat. Hey, I'm man, gonna, don't cheat my I'm gonna, Chong. I'm going to cheat you a Chongson. <laughs> don't That's cheat right. my Chong. Uh, and then number 10, uh, Cameron. That's not true. Number That's 9 is Lost in Space. Be. Oh, I thought you were were skipping ahead on the list. No, Lost in Space would not be scary to me. I just, I'd meet an alien, and I'd invent technology with them. That's what I was born to do. I'd meet, like, four goofy robots, and I'd sit around watching movies with them. i go to planet Cybertron, and I would pilot Optimus Prime's son. (laughs) If I got lost in space? Yeah. I'd probably just eat some astronaut food. Yeah. I'd eat frozen frozen mashed potatoes. Uh I eat frozen mashed potatoes, and I would spit them out of my mouth to make myself fly back to Earth like I'm a rocket. Oh, mm. true. I'd use a fire extinguisher, and I'd propel myself directly into the sun. Yeah, but you'd, you'd use the fire extinguisher, and you'd put out the sun by accident. And you'd Shit. kill everyone. Yeah, just my fucking luck. <laughs> yeah, and I come back with, like, a tiny black rock, and they're like, what's that? It's the sun. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> You'll, you use a fire extinguisher to propel yourself toward the sun, and then you hit it, and it, like flips and it's just like it's been a cardboard cutout all along just floating in space <laughs> yeah there's a guy there's like an old man projectionist yeah. behind it yeah. well guess i'm caught <laughs> ah geez well well that's G-G. me then yeah well, that's there's my cue <laughs> all right well i'm gonna head out <laughs> boss ain't gonna be too happy about yeah. this one well hey, hey it's well. your turn come take over yeah <laughs> Yeah. Uh, number 10, Burning Alive. Mm. Whatever, man. I would yeah. wear fireproof clothes in a whole suit. I, I would, would stop, just die. and roll. I would pour water on myself. There's like a thousand solutions to this one. It's impossible if to I, be scared by it. If I started burning alive, I would just die. So I'd be burning dead. That's brave. Uh-huh. Yeah. Would you kill yourself while you were burning alive so that you wouldn't have to die from burning alive? Maybe. Also, I wonder how much time it takes when you're burning alive until you die for real. Like, uh, hmm. Uh, well, I know that a st- in stunt, it, when you're doing a stunt for a movie, you can only do a full body burn for 30 seconds before it starts to do damage to you. But that's like Whoa. if you're wearing like an, uh, an anti, a flammable suit or something. I should ask that monk who burned alive. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, I should call. He's could. still he's still burning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's still burning. Yeah, he's like uh, yeah. it's it's like the um, tomb of the unknown soldier. Like people yeah. just kind of rage against check the it machine out. visits him once a year. Yeah, <laughs> they give him his royalties. That's why he did it. He wanted to be on the cover of a Rage Against the Machine yeah. album. Yeah. Number uh, eleven, number... Slender Man. <gasps> 
<laughs> now we're getting the really scary stuff. Oh my god! Ah! Oh no! Enderman! Slenderman is scary. <laughs> no, oh, definitely scary. Slenderman is definitely me. scary. Not to me. A guy with no Very face. Scary. A, a man who you can't kiss. Scary. <laughs> no lips. I'd hate to see his thing. I'll say that much. His thing has no head. <gasps> this thing has it has no hole. Uh-huh. Here, wait. There's no pee hole. Do you guys see this comment from Jay's top ten list? It's kind of a script. I want to read it with you guys. Okay, let me find it. It's on the uh, I think the second page of comments. Okay, from Jay's. Yeah, so I got it. You, All right, you be I'll boy. Be, I'll, I'll be, be Slender boy. Man. Who? Me. What a uh. good day to go out in the woods. Hello. Crap. I'll shall kill you. Ah! <laughs> well, that's a good. That's almost better that than the scary good. stories we told. That's got a beginning, yeah. middle, and end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exposition. It's he's going mm-hmm. out in the woods, and it's got middle, and it's got crap. like kind of like a transitional between each of them too. Exactly. It f- flows smoothly. This is the shortest story, the scariest story you can write in one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this eleven. This is the shortest 12, 13, story 14, 15, you can 16, write. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It's the shortest 22, 22 story word stories words. that you can scare people with. Let's do, all right, six word. how about this, six word scary stories. All right. Not yeah, just six word we'll, stories. That's how we'll close it out. Okay. Six word scariest story. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Ghost has an evil weird gun all right er, mine yeah um s- uh scary terrifying dracula werewolf mu- and mummy godzilla ghost monster <laughs> what are these things all having concerts everybody <laughs> everybody just went to my scary concert i love that line weird Unlimited no. homework, no lunch, no recess. Whoa. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. The freak from TV ate lunch. Help. I got scared of uh, something. <laughs> Squidward suicide real footage on TV. My dad just converted to Islam. <laughs> they just elected new president Carol Baskins. With Carol Baskins no! as one word. No. Kevin Rudolph, let it let it <laughs> let rock. It. Patrick doesn't know. Deleted. <laughs> My Reddit account just got banned. <laughs> Ouch, I just stubbed my penis. <laughs> Lil Wayne has passed away forever. <laughs> there once was a graveyard. Um, boo! Ah! They Shucky. did the monster mash. Today. <laughs> Today. <laughs> yeah. Chuck E. Cheese, no pizza, bathrooms closed. <laughs> Chucky versus Squidward. Alien versus in your Predator, room. <laughs> a great movie. <laughs> I think we got it. I think we yeah. nailed the scariest stories. Yeah. Thanks for listening. The All next right. one uh, won't Happy be so Halloween, scary for everybody. Those, those with Tim Happy hearts. Halloween. Bye Get bye. Get out of the bag. Get out of the out bag. Of he has a ghost in his bag. Right. A ghost went into Patrick's bag. Mm-hmm. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Boo.